Hey, good evening. It's uh, Wednesday, August 16th. Welcome to Everyday Talk 24 7. Remember, we've got everyday uh, good questions coming up on Friday if we have any. Have one so far, so we'd love to hear from more on QA Friday. We're going to continue looking at Psalm 73, the portion at the end from verses 21 to 28. We looked at 21 and 22 last night, where the psalmist describes himself like being like a brute beast because he had been so disrespectful to God and doubted God and envied the wicked. So he basically said, I'm like a dumb animal, a stupid cow before you. So we have that low point, right? And you saw the thumbnail with the cow last night. But then notice what's happening right after that. Right after he says, I must have seemed like a senseless animal to you, that brute beast. Now notice, notice verses 23 and 24 and the amazing comfort that the psalmist draws from the blessing and reality of God. We actually have the gospel presented here in these next two verses. Even though I've been like this senseless dumb animal before you, verse 23, yet I still belong to you. It was never in doubt. And he sees that. He draws comfort from it. Yet I still belong to you. You hold my right hand. What a precious picture. And you see that in the thumbnail tonight with the father walking with his child, holding her right hand. You can get a sense of how secure this child is because she knows that her father will take care of her. She is secure with him. Yet I still belong to you. Despite all of my mess ups, my doubting, the stupid ways that I did, the sins that I committed, I still belong to you. You hold my right hand. God always holds our right hand. And then verse 24, you guide me with your counsel through this beautiful word, the wisdom that comes, leading me to a glorious destiny. He's not talking about, not talking about winning a battle. He's talking about our final home. These two verses, 23 and 24, what an amazing picture. The psalmist acknowledges his sins, acknowledges that he betrayed God, and would have been like a senseless animal if he continued that way. And yet, it just blows me away. Yet, I still belong to you. You see, my actions don't take me away from God. He is committed to us. That covenant has said, commitment, his unfailing love. This is what it means. Yet I still belong to you. You hold my right hand. This is such a place of comfort for us. Just like that little child drawing comfort from her father. You guide me with your counsel, leading me to a glorious destiny. And tomorrow we'll look at 25 and 26, but Wow, you and I are secure. Our actions cannot cancel out the work of Christ. And the psalmist Asaph is anticipating that. So yet I still belong to you. Your actions, because of the things of Christ, because of his commitment, because of the covenant faithfulness of God. This is what the psalmist understood, that God was faithful to his covenant, would not, would not betray his promise to his people. Yet I still belong to you. You hold my right hand. You guide me with your counsel. Even though I didn't deserve it, you continue to guide me through this word, leading me to a glorious destiny. The same destiny that Abraham saw 
when he was looking forward to a city whose builder and architect was God? When David says that you spread a table before me in the presence of my enemies, you will comfort me? Here, through the glorious, wonderful teaching of God, we have the glorious, wonderful destiny of God's covenant commitment to us. This is such a comfort. If you think you have messed up, if you know you've messed up, God knows that. If you've been like that dumb animal, sinfully turning away from God, praise God that you could say with the psalmist, yet I still belong to you. You hold my right hand. You guide me with your counsel, leading me to a glorious destiny. That is where we draw our security from. And the psalmist will go on and expand to that in the coming verses, but just dwell on this beautiful thing. What a precious promise. Yet, I still belong to you. You hold my hand. Isn't that, isn't that, that's our comfort, brothers and sisters. That's the thing that God has for us, the hope that he has for us. Let me leave that thought with you. Echo, what you doing? She wanted to jump up if she missed. Let me leave you with that thought. The hand of God holds us. We still belong to him. And that's the thought for this night. And uh, we'll continue looking at this tomorrow. But thanks so much for being here. And uh, Lord willing, see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. May God richly bless you as you seek to live for His glory.